Well, we are at the Mayaca River State Park in Florida, and you got to watch out for these guys. <laughs> so I decided I would uh, film the hike today and uh, show you guys what I'm up to in Florida. We are going down to the deep hole. This is a really uh, highly organized ordeal to get in here. They only give out 30 passes a day. So you're only, only 30 people are allowed to walk this trail per day. It's very um, strict the way they do it. So anyways, I'll keep you updated along the trail. So this is the deep hole trail at the Mayaka River State Park. And uh, basically we are going to do the five mile hike here. And we'll keep you guys updated. Shouldn't be too bad. It looks decent so far. My son, this is nothing for him. The guy went out and hiked like 17K, which is about 12 miles in the summer at one park. And he hikes constantly. So, But this is a big deal for me. So anyway, welcome to Connolly Outdoors. And we are going to do this hike. All right, so we are a little bit in on our journey. But I just wanted to show you some of the area around here. This is kind of what Florida looked like before we infiltrated it <laughs> as people. It's super cool. And uh, I'll just let you see a few things. This is called the Southern Live Oak. It's like a willow tree in no, Canada. It's an oak tree. Sorry? It's an oak tree. Sorry, an oak tree. But it's very cool. Like, look at this thing. Wow. What an amazing tree. It's a beautiful one. Jeez. <laughs> Look at all the Spanish moss on it. Wow. Amazing. Anyone that appreciates nature can appreciate something like that. Just incredible. I'm gonna film quick. This is like being on the savannah. So the trail has opened up to literally Siesta Key beautiful beach sand. I keep expecting to see the ocean, but no ocean, <laughs> just an ongoing trail. And uh, it's going to um, open up shortly in these trees here, I think. There's some trees ahead and it'll open up. We go left and then we find our destination. So we're about, I don't know, a mile, mile and a half in. So about 2K in so far. So we're coming along quite nicely and everything is good so far. It's a beautiful day out here today. So the trail is still this beach sand. That's the entirety of the trail, but we're in a prairie, it looks like. And uh, it's pretty wide open here, very wide open. Florida's a very flat place. So, so far in terms of elevation, we've only moved one meter. <laughs> so it's not very high in elevation. Not like some of the other hikes that my son takes me on where it feels like it's a meter a second. <laughs> This one's not too bad. So we are just coming to the end of the prairie portion of the trail and we are heading into a forest. Now uh, the lady at the state park office told us, and this is very important, <laughs> once you get to the end of the trail here in the woods, you got to go through the trees and then go left to get to deep hole. So that's a very important thing because she said so many people get to 
the end of the trail and just, hey, where's Deep Bowl? How do we, how do we find it? And they turn around and go back and complain. <laughs> but you got to go a little bit further. Anyways, here we are in the forest. Wow, it's really awesome in here. Beautiful. There, again, there's those trees. Oh, wow. Incredible. I think this is why people enjoy these videos is uh, they live vicariously through people like myself and other people that like the outdoors and camping and whatnot. Now, this is my first official video outside of camping. We're not actually camping anywhere here. We are just doing this hike. But it is Connolly Outdoors, so it involves nature and hikes as well. It's a variety of things. The majority of my videos are camping though. Vultures. <laughs> Just waiting for us to disintegrate on this path. Look at them all. Jeez. Wow, we're absolutely surrounded by vultures. This is crazy. They're everywhere. Wow. I don't think they're happy that we're here, to be totally honest. Well, they are and they're not. All right, so we are now at the end of this trail, right at the very end. So we're gonna head through these trees right up here. So as we come out of the, there's a deer, Liam, a deer. I'm hoping to get this on film. We're just coming out of the forest and we've spotted a deer. Let's see, he's right over here, right over here. They don't seem to be frightened by us. They're very calm. They're not scared of us. They're just gently walking away. It's amazing. Wow. That's awesome. They're looking at us, but they're not frightened by us. They realize we're not gonna harm them. It's incredible. Here's what we came out to. Here's the lake. And the hole we're going to, deep hole is over there. approaching deep hole now. My son's already spotted some gators or some uh, 
Yeah, I can see them too, actually. I don't think you can see them though, but I'll turn the camera around. Yeah, you can't see them yet because it's just too far away. Camera perspective is different than eye perspective. But uh, I'll definitely get some of those gators on film. <laughs> so these are the gators. There's about 50 of them in the water here. Incredible. They're all just the, what looks like a log is a gator. I'll see if I can sort of focus in on one a little bit. You can see, there he is. Incredible. We don't feel threatened right now, but we're not going to make too much noise to startle them or anything. Well, this is the closest I've ever been to this many alligators. I don't feel threatened, like I said earlier. I'm pretty calm. There's a lot of them, though. Holy moly. They're literally everywhere. Some of them are out of the water, but it's on the other side. I'll see if I can... Uh, you can't really see them, I don't think. Well, maybe you can. They're not moving. They're just on the other side, outside. When the sun comes up and it's really hot, well, the sun's out, but when it's hot, they all come out of the water and sunbathe. But right now, they're just right in front of me. They're very close to the gators. We gotta be really quiet. Don't wanna stir them up. We're super close to them. I think he's just having a snooze. But look how close these ones are. Do not want to rile them up. And you can see a bunch of them over there as well. Yeah, they're just taking the sun in, relaxing. Let's keep it that way. more vultures man this is kind of a scary place it's cool but it's creepy as anything alligators vultures the deers were nice but it's kind of a creepy place it's super cool we're having a great time i wouldn't want to be here at night though <laughs> no bears like home though bears frighten me <laughs> All right, so I'm heading out now 
totally amazing. We've counted over 50 alligators in that water. Just incredible. Beautiful spot. And now we're, we were down here for quite a while and uh, now we're gonna head out. So we'll, um, we'll catch up with you very shortly. All right, so we are finally back, sort of on the trail, making our way back. It's close to 3K, which is, uh, I don't know, 2.3 miles or something. So it's not too far. That was an amazing experience. <laughs> Liam and I are just overwhelmed a little bit because those gators, while we felt calm, and obviously they were calm, things can change in a heartbeat. Those gators could decide that they're looking for a little tasty meal and come out of the water and they can run up the 50k 30 miles an hour. <laughs> I don't know my conversion. Anyways, uh, we're heading back. So I'm just walking back through this uh, sort of a field area over to another lake, which is the lake that we saw when we first came in. It's really wet over here though. It's very bog-like. So we're about halfway back, coming to an end this amazing hike it's really been awesome I feel like I'm in the Twilight Zone a little bit <laughs> it's really cool though a little disappointed we didn't see any turtles yeah no turtles all right so we're out of the forest area back on the main trail and uh, Still a beautiful day outside, so easy walk. <laughs> no problems at all. All right, we are closing in on the end. Turns out it's just over eight kilometers or five miles that uh, we hiked and uh, I'm feeling it. <laughs> I am very tired so I'm really looking forward to having a coffee and drink of water and something to eat and uh, relax. But we are almost at the end of this. All right, so we've reached the end of the trail. Just around this bend here is the end of the trail and where the truck is. So really looking forward to getting a drink and sitting down. <laughs> but anyways, thanks a lot for uh, coming along on this amazing hike in the Mayaka Strait Park and going to see all those alligators. It was just incredible, great experience. This is my first hike video on my channel. Everything has been camping, but as I said before, I like to change things up a little bit and uh, my son kind of um, motivated me to do this hike with him and uh, I don't regret it. It was awesome. All right. Thanks very much for watching, and as always, keep camping.